So this is the BMW GA in free competition. We've done a few of these uh, seven days now and they have been released for a while. But the real question is, is how much better is this compared to the old FAE M3 competition? Today, we're gonna tell you a bit about this. We're gonna get Carl's opinion and answer that question for you. Recently, we did just raffle an orange FAE M3. I'm not saying that the older versions are bad, but we're gonna take a look at what BMW have actually improved and what makes this car so incredible. What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video where today we're out in the GAE M3 competition. Now this one, we're gonna show you a little bit of the specs. As you can see, it's got the Ultima pack, which is a huge must. And we're gonna see what BMW have changed from the older models on the FAE and get my opinion on it, whether I think it's better or worse. Starting off with the interior. As I just said, this one's got the ultimate pack. It's got the carbon absolutely everywhere. In my opinion, it's one of my favorite things. Look at this. <laughs> it works when it wants to work. Let me turn that back down. That's one thing for me that I think BMW have really, really improved on in the GAE is the interior. A much nicer place to be. It's all, all the big LCD screens, obviously the steering wheel, carbon. You've got your M modes there as well, so you can have your own preferences saved up. So if you hit M, you can have your own preference on the engine, the gearbox, the handling. Um, yeah, lots of that. So that's one thing that BMW have really, really improved on, in my opinion, from the FAE to the G80. So we just spoke about the inside, now let's go to the exterior. So the biggest change that they've done on the G80 model was the front grille. At first, this got absolutely criticized, but now I think it just looks absolutely insane. This one has been kitted out with a full CT carbon kit, so it has actually been changed out for a CT carbon grille. As well as the CT front grille, we've also got the front splitter, the side skirt and the extensions, the rear diffuser and the rear spoiler. Nice. Now onto the performance of the new G80 M3. These are running a three liter twin turbo straight six engine, pushing out a huge 503 brake horsepower. <laughs> Now this one being the X drive means it is four wheel drive and that's another huge change that BMW done on the G80 model. So you can actually buy this example in a two wheel drive, rear wheel drive or the four wheel drive like this one as well. So that's another huge change they've done from the F80 which was just rear wheel drive. Now whilst we wait for Kyle to come back, this week's discount code is BROOKLYN20. It is for 20% off your whole order and it will be only valid for one week. So use it whilst you still can, save some money and some tickets on what is live. If you wonder what BROOKLYN means as well, that is the paintwork of the GA. Yeah, I'm trying to be smart with it. Clap. Yeah, go on. Right, are you going to tell me what you're going to do now? Yes, yeah, so we're about to do a little launch, show you the performance of it and listen to this. <laughs> For a factory system, that sounds absolutely insane. So let's get it down the road and let's see what it can do. <laughs> cool, she's on ice. Cool, that is good. But, um, lost my wallet in the process of that. Let's see what this thing's got then, shall we? Here we go. <laughs> Spinning up already, traction's kicking in. That's 60. <sighs> This is quick. This feels rapid. This definitely feels quicker than the F80. I would say that on uh, feel-wise, because this is a little bit less skitty four-wheel drive, it definitely puts the power down better. F80s are always a little bit skitty when you give them a little bit of a launch. However, this uh, definitely puts the power down a lot, lot better. <laughs> Although it's four-wheel drive, it still has that little skittiness as well. Keeps you on your toes, it's nice. Got a couple of cars just uh, staring at me and give me the nods up, give me a little thumbs up as well, shall you? Oh, oh, Doris, we don't, oh, oh, Doris. Traction is kicking in a lot more than you'd expect. It's obviously got a lot of power, especially from factory. This one is not tuned or anything as well. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Just ignore that, Travis. So Kyle, overall opinion on the GAE versus the FAE? My overall opinion is the GAE is better than the FAE, purely for a couple of things, for my own personal reasons. One is the interior, much more modern, much more sleek, and a lot more user-friendly, and the drivability of it. You can drive these cars a lot harder, a lot better, a lot more fun around corners and round down back roads and B roads, just because it's got that X drive. So in my opinion, the G80 does hit the nail on the head and out of the two, I would choose the G80. I'll tell you what, this also has the drift analyzer mode. It does. Which you 
I'd love to test out, but I'm not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> However, I can't test it out because it is on the site for you guys to win, and it is just up on the site for 55p an entry. Literally, imagine that. That's literally change you find in, not there, in, in like your cup holder or something like that. Yeah, put them back. So this is on the side for 55p. It does come with 2,000 pounds tax-free cash as well, guys. So if this car is for you, get yourself a few entries and you never know, we could be calling you to say you're the winner. However, perhaps you do prefer the F80 and you think, well, actually I would prefer the F80. You can still enter for this one. You could take the 54,000 pounds cash alternative and go buy yourself an F80 if not. So guys, get your entries in and you could be our next winner. Good luck. So what is also live on our website here behind me is our supercar. It is the Ferrari 488 in the Nero Detainer black paintwork. This is running the 3.9 litre V8 twin turbo engine, kicking out a huge 660 brake horsepower. We're not 62 in just three seconds. The ticket price on this is just 85p and it also comes with £5,000 cash or if you do not want to take the car you can take a huge £125,000 cash return in. And up next we're in Volkswagen T6 camper van conversion by Hardy V-Dubs so let me show you around it. So on the exterior of the van as you can see is in the minimal grey paintwork. This one also comes with some Riviera wheels and on the inside of the van we have got the mini fridge, a set of two burners, a sink, and then of course you've got plenty of storage, plug sockets for all your electronic needs. These seats are actually upgraded from the previous transporters that we've done before. And they are of course as comfy as they look. And the top does of course pop out. To which end you've got more room for a bed and it also comes with a mattress. Real nice camper I must say is probably the nicest one we have done it is on the website for just 95p and it also comes with £1,000 cash. If you do not want to take the van, you can take the huge £44,000 cash alternative which you can go to whatever else you'd like. And then behind me, you can win this Honda CB1000R for just 79p. Check out these competitions, they're all live on our website at 7daysperformance.co.uk. There is your oh, hey. BMW S1000RR. That is nice. your Rolex Batman. Feel free to take it out. Remind us how many tickets you bought on that? Five. Five tickets. I think that's the least I've bought on anything, and it's the first time wow. I've won. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that sounds like £7.90. That, that, yeah. <laughs> sounds like a lot of fun to be had. That is so nice. I must admit, the Batman is probably up there with. To be fair, when I put it in there, my friend Connell said that's the one he's wanted for ages. Really? And then same as my mate Pav as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you could stare at it all day, can you? It is, it's mad. I can't lie. I've seen videos of people picking cars up and stuff. I never for once thought I'd be in being here picking something up for myself. Hi, I'm James Taylor. I've just won this S1000 RR for a grand total of £7.90 on uh, 10 tickets with seven days performance. Hi, my name's Luke Foster. I won this Batman Rolex with five tickets for £4.95. To be fair, out of shock. I never thought I'd win, but as soon as I saw my name come up, I still didn't believe it. I had to double check the number just to make sure it was real. Disbelief, because it's actually my second time winning with you guys. So, yeah, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so that's all for this week's video. If you did enjoy it, then leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more future discount codes and what is also coming up in the future.